A symbolic annual event with powerful images. Earth Hour has been a moment for millions of people to come together and think about our impact on the world around us. This year's event takes on new meaning as billions take part in another shared experience. In light with all that is happening with the coronavirus, why not uh, turn this into a super special activity with your household? You can prepare a candlelit dinner as it's at 8.30 in the evening, switch off all electricity, enjoy each other's company, and why not talk about all the wonderful gifts that Mother Nature has to offer and all the things that we look forward to doing uh, once the isolation is lifted and we can all be outdoors again and enjoy the wonderful world that we live in. Let us learn the lesson that the universe is desperately trying to teach us, that the time that we're spending in isolation not have been in vain. In situations like the one we're in at the moment, we look for silver linings, and there is one in terms of the climate and reduced levels of pollution due to the coronavirus pandemic. Earth has started breathing again, and it's a sure sign that we need to evaluate how we do things uh, when things go back to normal. Satellite imagery from China has also demonstrated that reduced human activity is leading to reduced greenhouse gas emissions. Something environmentalists say is benefiting planet Earth as cities and economies come to a halt. While many of our landmarks, office buildings and apartment blocks go dark for 60 minutes, 7.6 billion people are being forced by events or mother nature to realize what else just isn't working. Organizers say now, more than ever, is the time to unite to safeguard our future and the future of our planet. Andrew Chappelle, Al Jazeera.